Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for February 19th, 2013. Of course, it is 8.30 a.m. And a special shout out to my girlfriend. It's her birthday today, Susan. Happy birthday. All right, now let's take a look at these temperatures. Look what's happening here. Where you have the southerly winds, temperatures are spiking into the upper 30s rather quickly. For example, around Belmar, I was around, let's say, about 28, 29, around 5 a.m. We jumped about 10 degrees once this wind shifted to the south. And the same situation is going to start to set up throughout the entire Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area, even the northern interior. Once those winds set up from the south and southwest, or in the southeast, should I say, uh, you're going to see temperatures rise rapidly. We're seeing that over portions of central Pennsylvania. We're already starting to see that over portions of Connecticut, where earlier on we were in the upper teens to lower 20s. Now we're in the upper 20s. So as you can see, the theme here ahead of an advancing cold front is that temperatures will be rising rapidly into the mid to upper 40s over the interior and upper 40s to lower 50s along the coast, making for a comfortable early afternoon time period but then the rain comes in and it's going to be locally heavy now let's take a look at this radar it's pretty impressive this is from a new radar feature from the uh, penn state e-wall which is uh, pretty cool because uh, you can see the precipitation here changing over to snow and sleet now i'm not expecting any accumulation with this snow and sleet basically what's happening here is that it's still early in the morning relatively and basically with the cold temperatures in place, you're getting a little bit of snow and sleet mixed in. However, warm air is rapidly winning the game here ahead of this cold front as we already have seen. So much of this is going to fall as rain. You could start off as a little bit of wet snow over portions of northeastern Pennsylvania around the Poconos. But other than that, I expect all of this to fall in as rain, heavy at times this afternoon and into the early evening. And here's the end of the cold front. You can see at the very end here, we have a changeover to snow, and that's because temperatures are gonna be crashing again behind this cold front. We're talking about temperatures falling from, let's say around 48, 49, down into the upper 20s by tomorrow morning. So, at the end of the precipitation with this cold front, you could mix in with a little bit of snow. Again, no accumulation is expected, but it certainly will look nice at, let's say, midnight or 1 a.m. if you happen to be up and about. So once this cold front moves through, we fall back to reality once again with temperatures struggling in the 30s for your Wednesday. Taking a look at the latest infrared satellite picture, you can see this cold front moving through. Now, you see this right here? This is not clouds. What this is, is basically the cold air, the cold surface in place. You can see that cold air kind of bleeding down behind this cold front. And that's pretty much what we can expect once this cold front moves through. Temperatures really are not going to move all that much, basically in the mid-30s for tomorrow, as a polar slash somewhat arctic air mass builds into the region. So again, rain for this afternoon and in the evening into the early, early morning hours on Wednesday, Followed by clearing skies and chilly weather conditions tomorrow. Watch out for those wind chills as well as winds are going to be from the northwest anywhere from 10 to 20 miles per hour with a higher gusts leading to wind chills in the teens and 20s. So as you can see we're on a bit of a roller coaster here with our weather pattern. Now the water vapor satellite picture is pretty interesting. Here's our epic powerful blizzard that missed us. Uh, that is lifting up into the Canadian Maritimes producing a nice little block here over the northern Atlantic. And here's our other cold front here. Now this will replace this as a block for later on this week. This disturbance right here is what we have to keep an eye on for Saturday into Sunday. This could, could produce accumulating snowfall for the New York City and Philadelphia metropolitan area, especially the New York City metropolitan area for Saturday night into Sunday. And we're talking about snowfall accumulations over four inches Yes, the European model guidance does show snowfall totals over a foot, but let's hold back here, wait a few days, don't jump to conclusions. Let's see how this evolves before, you know, talking about major winter storms and blizzards. And I, I know someone's going to put out a map already. It's going to be ridiculous. But just to let you know, there is a storm evolving. And here it is right here. And here is the the feature that we're going to watch to see how the blocking sets up to keep cold air in place as this disturbance interacts with the subtropical jet stream 
and shoots across the country and off of the mid-Atlantic coast. Here is the latest European model guidance from the Penn State eWall website. As you know, an excellent website for all your model needs. Here we are for this afternoon. You can see our strong upper level low lifting up through the St. Lawrence River Valley, our cold front moving through. Periods of rain can be expected. That rain will exit and end as a little bit of snow, no accumulation. Tomorrow, we are very chilly with uh, temperatures struggling in the 30s. Notice how the pressure lines here are really packed here. That means it's going to be a windy day for sure tomorrow afternoon. So be sure to have your coat with you. It's going to be pretty blustery out there. As we head on through the end of the week into Thursday and Friday, I'm expecting generally dry conditions for the most part. There could be a few rain snow showers on Friday evening with the, with the cold front. But I really don't expect anything significant at all really on Friday. It's really not a big deal as far as any potential storm potential. Now what does concern me here is the way that this trough is situated with this whole storm idea. As we head on into Saturday evening, we have an area of low pressure clearly redeveloping off the mid-Atlantic coast. And we have blocking here over the northern Atlantic. But I don't like this here. And this is what should be a warning sign if you're expecting a heavy snow event for your Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan areas or even the northern interior. This type of setup, this trough here, is the same type of warning sign that I really, really cautioned about for the storm for last weekend. When you end up with this type of weather pattern here and this signal right here, this leads to a more progressive weather pattern. In other words, this ends up moving east rather than northeast. For right now, there's a lot of model guidance that's suggesting that this storm will get its act together rather nicely, phase, and rapidly intensify off the New Jersey coast uh, early Sunday morning, thus producing periods of moderate to possibly even heavy snow for the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan areas. Word of caution, if this phase does not happen, this is not a big deal. And this right here is an indication that that phase is likely not to happen. So we'll have to keep an eye on it. Again, you know, it really depends on how, how fast these specific disturbances move in, and we really don't have a lot of data to really sample how fast they're moving. However, I would caution against getting too overly excited about this weekend until we get a few more days of data here. There's a storm potential, yes, for Saturday night into Sunday. And if you're in Connecticut, if you're in northern New Jersey, the Hudson River Valley, even portions of northeastern Pennsylvania, closer towards the Delaware River. It's something to keep an eye on, that is for sure, and the potential there is for accumulating snowfall. How much? No idea. Whether a storm's going to be intense, I'd bet against it only because of this trough right here once again. This is an indication of a progressive pattern, not one that would support a storm slowing down and setting up off the New Jersey coast. And by the way, the blocking over the northern Atlantic starts to fall apart rather quickly out ahead of this. So, again, we're going to have to keep an eye on it again. Let's not jump to conclusions. Let's just wait and see how this evolves. Once that storm exits, here's our another storm from the Pacific riding right into the central part of the country. I expect it to be a little bit more chillier than uh, what the um, GFS Moss guidance is suggesting with temperatures in the 50s, especially if we do get accumulating snowfall. So I kept temperatures in the mid to upper 30s on Monday. But if that storm does not deliver and you end up with a little bit more of a ridge along the east coast, certainly temperatures are going to be able to push into the 40s and maybe even the 50s. So again, everything kind of plays off on this storm for this upcoming weekend. That is your forecast for today. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen DiMartino. You can follow the latest weather information at nynjpaweather.com and nynjpaweather on Twitter and Facebook. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe out there.